Once a suitable dispersion is attained, neutralization is required in most liquid systems to provide optimum thickening, emulsification, or suspension activity. In the dry powder state, a molecule of carbopol polymer, pemulin polymeric emulsifier, or Novion AA1 polycarbophil is tightly coiled, thus limiting its performance capabilities. When dispersed in water, the molecule begins to hydrate and uncoil slightly, generating an increase in viscosity. For highest possible performance with the polymer, the molecule must be completely uncoiled. In aqueous systems, the most common method to achieve this is by neutralizing the polymer with a base such as sodium hydroxide. The base ionizes the polymer, generating negative charges along its backbone. Repulsions between the negative charges cause the molecule to completely uncoil into an extended structure. This reaction is rapid and gives instantaneous thickening or emulsion formation. Suitable neutralizing agents include sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or low molecular weight amines and alkanolamines. An alternative means of uncoiling the molecule in an aqueous system is to add a hydroxyl donor such as ethanol, glycerin, propylene glycol, polyethylene glycol, or mannitol. All of Lubrizol's pharmaceutical polymers swell via the same mechanism, but each polymer exhibits different rheological characteristics and emulsion-forming capabilities. For example, highly cross-linked polymers such as carbopol 974P NF and 980NF will produce highly viscous gels with short flow rheology similar to mayonnaise. Lightly cross-linked polymers such as carbopol 981NF and 971PNF will produce gels with long flow rheology which will flow like honey in a semi-solid formulation.